Hey guys, welcome to Core Basics Coding Tutorial. Today we are going to talk about Merge in Pandas. As usual, I have launched my Jupyter Notebook by running Jupyter Notebook command on my command prompt and it launched my notebook here and what I'm going to do is create a new notebook. Now to save some time on recording, I have some code snippet which I'm going to just copy directly. So I have this first data frame which contains temperature information on different cities. And then I have the second data frame which contains data on humidity. Now often I want to join these two data frames to create a one single data frame which contains both temperature and humidity. And you can do that using pandas merge function. So you can say pd.merge your first data frame, your second data frame, and the column on which you want to perform this merge, okay? And when you print your data frame, uh, it's gonna look like this. So now it has temperature and humidity, and you can see that New York has 68 humidity, which is 68 here and 21 temperature. So it is truly, it's not just going by the row index, it is truly, looking into the value of the city and performing this join. Now, if you are aware about database joins, then this is exactly same. It's like doing a join between two tables using uh, this column, such as, uh, which, which is basically city, okay? Now here you had all three cities present in both the data frames. What if you have, let's say one extra city here, Baltimore, where the average temperature is let's say 32 and then you don't have Orlando here instead of that you have San Francisco okay so let's say this is how your data frames are set up okay now when you perform this join you will notice that the result has only New York and Chicago. So whatever was common between these two data frames, you are seeing it here. Now it's missing Orlando, Baltimore, and San Francisco. The reason is, uh, it, as you already figured it out, it did an inter intersection. So if you remember yes, the set theory, as you can see in the diagram, intersection is basically taking common elements between the, between the two sets, okay? Also in our database world, there is this concept of inner join. So that's what this is, inner join or intersection, okay? Now, the second kind of join that you have in database is basically outer join. Uh, if you want to use set theory term terminology, then it will be a union, taking union of uh, two uh, sets basically, okay? so. The argument that you would use is how. So in how, if you say outer, then it's gonna take, it's gonna be a union of these two tables. So you'll see Orlando, Baltimore and San Francisco. And the columns for which it doesn't have information is gonna put NAN over here. Okay, so you we saw outer join then inner join is default is whatever you see when you don't supply how column so if you do pandas merge documentation uh, you will see that by default how is inner okay all right another kind of join is left join so again as you can see in the picture left will take all the common elements between the two sets and also the remaining elements from the left data frame. So you can see that now I have Orlando and Baltimore, okay, these two are present, but I don't have San Francisco because San Francisco is my right data frame. And by the way, left and right is decided by the order uh, in, in your merge call. So DF1 is left and DF2 is right, okay. Now let me do a right inner join not right inner join, really right join. So in right join, you will see elements from right data frame. So you can see San Francisco, and of course the common elements, but you don't see now Orlando and Baltimore. 
going back to outer join when you have this result data frame sometimes you might want to know from which data frame these element come in so for example this has an end so you know either it came from left or right okay so in order to know that you can use indicator flag so by default it is set to false but if you set it to true you will get this additional merge column where it where it will say if you know where this data came from so for example this was present in both the data frames so it says both then it says left only which means orlando will, was present only in the left data frame so this could be useful sometimes we also have one more argument called suffixes so let's say you have common columns in both the data frame so again i'm going to copy some code snippet here okay so let's say this is your data frame which has both humidity and temperature and then you have your second data frame here which also have humidity and temperature okay now when you join this two so i'll again do like pd dot merge df1 df2 and your on would be city okay so what you will notice is uh, it's gonna automatically append underscore x and underscore y because humidity column and temperature column were repeated between these two data frames hence uh, when it shows the result it needs to dif somehow distinguish uh, these two columns so it appended these suffixes now if you want your own suffix suffixes then you can use this suffixes column where you can say okay my left column and my my left data frame and right data frame so when you do that it by default it is using underscore x and underscore y but when you explicitly supply this suffix x, it's gonna use that as you can see it here okay so that's all i had for this tutorial thank you very much for watching you can find the link of the jupyter notebook used in this tutorial in the video description below uh, i will see you in uh, next tutorial thanks again bye